What's up traders? So upon request, we're gonna get into a video on my Dosh Trader setup. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the main screen. Now, it doesn't matter which broker you have, you should have the same screen regardless as the default. Um, I do have the dark setup. Uh, if you want to get the dark setup, you just go to setup, other configuration, and right here under theme, uh, you can choose dark. You're most likely on default. Um, it just It's a little bit easier on the eyes to me. But uh, anyways, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for the montages. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just pull up uh, trade, montage, and... We're going to right click up here near the title and we're gonna hit pop out. So what that does is it unlinks it from uh, the trading station and it allows you to move it anywhere you want. So you can move it from, as I'm on a different screen now, but you can move it back to this screen. And basically you're just gonna find out where you want it set up. Uh, so let's say we want it set up right here as if that other montage wasn't there. Um, let's just use uh, IMRN just for instance. And if you want to set it up as a different type of uh, montage, like if you want to have it set up so that, of course, I want to click the wrong one. There we go. Route. Nope. Which one is it? Style. There we go. Uh, you can have it. I have it set up as stop order. So at any given time, um, when I do click stop here, it's already here and, and I can input a stop. Since I like to use stops, um, I tend to just leave it up there. Um, but you can go back to the default uh, where it just has the normal stuff there. Uh, you can go to, that's gonna be hard to click, there we go. You can go to uh, basic, which is even less. Uh, you can go to in detail where it pretty much uh, gives you all the other stuff that you don't really need to see. Um, and then option OC, like you can do your OCO orders. Uh, you got all kinds of different things that you can do, but either near, neither here nor there. I like to use the stop type. And so that's why that's there. So as you can see, when you expand this down, you see a little thing that says right click here to add a button. So let's just say we want to do two, like my previous ones, well, these come up. So one here, you would hit edit. And you're going to have a name. So we'll just say we're recreating uh, the buy ask plus five cents. So now what you would have to do is come back and make that script. Uh, if you want to change the color, the text color will keep it black. Uh, we'll make it green since it's a buy. And the button height we'll get to in a second. So we need it something in the script for now. But as you can see, that's what it does. So now where we get that script from, we're going to come back here. We're going to go up to tools. Nope. Setup hotkey. And we're going to hit add new item. And all we're going to do is we're going to say buy ask plus five cents. And then we're going to go to the order script wizard. So we're going to buy for side, you either have buy or sell. The share you can leave blank, or if you want a set uh, amount of shares, like if you want to put buy 100 shares on the ask plus five cents, you could put 100 in here. Um, you can use, here. as you see, there's buying power, uh, half of your buying power. Um, position, that's for, like if you want to cover half your position, cover your whole position or sell your position, sell half your position. Um, and etc. So yeah, if you want to do that, or you could just leave it blank like I do, and you can enter it in as you go. Uh, symbol is blank, price is blank, account, you can put your account there, count in if you want. Uh, route, if you want to specify limit, market, or stop, then go ahead. In this case, we are. We're doing the ask as a limit plus five cents, um, which means we actually, I did mean we do have to add that. The price is the plus five cents right there. Um, but if you didn't want, like if you're just using a market order, you wouldn't need price obviously, cause it would just do that. Um, and this is where you would check with your broker. Some brokers are different. Uh, like during the day now with CMEG and pre-market, you have to use just day. And then if you want to do after hours, you have to use day plus. You're welcome very much. Uh, KPTI trade. I'm pretty positive 99.9% .9 that I made this happen. So <laughs> 
is what it is. Um, this is where if you want to show your quantity, um, this is if you wanted to short uh, or whatnot. Like if you want to show you, this, just leave it blank. This doesn't matter. Um, and then mode, if you want to just load it, which I'll show you in a sec, like what that does, or you can have it load and send. So when you click it, it just loads it and sends it all in one shot, or you can load it and then you would have to hit enter, uh, to have the order go through. So we will do just load to show you. But so once you have these things in, you hit build, it'll send, it'll make the script for you. You can copy paste it. You can hit commit so that it saves it down here just for later use get out of this okay minimize this go back to your button hit edit put this into the script hit okay and now watch uh, the ask is 374 currently so when we hit this button it's going to load it oh well, we didn't put 100 shares in but or whatever amount of shares you want to put in so we would hit that and what it's going to do is if you notice it took 374 and added five cents and that's the limit order that it would uh that has loaded now if we and this is a good way to test your hot buttons by the way or even hotkeys is you just set them as load so that when you hit the button it'll act it'll basically trigger the hotkey to do what it's supposed to do but it won't actually send the order um, and now that we literally just went past eight o'clock i can actually change this to send which is what is this which is what you put in the script if you want to change it to load and send so if we hit this obviously it's not going to go through Actually, let's, uh, this TMP button, by the way, just means it goes back to default. Uh, so let's try putting in a hundred shares and hitting the button. And as you can see, it tried to do it, but it's for some reason, it's not letting us cause it's past time. But, um, as you can see, that's what it would do. So if you want to make, uh, let's say, let's do the other button. Let's do sell position now bid minus 10 cents. So basically what this button is, is we want to get out of the position. And I think I put this in parentheses, bit, yeah. I guess it won't let me. That's going to make me click exactly. Or we'll just leave it out, it doesn't matter. Okay, so script black, we'll make this one nice and red so we know that we're selling. Hit OK. And we're going to go back to here. We're going to go ahead, set up hotkey, add new item. I'm going to say sell on bid minus 10 cents. And we're going to go to the order script wizard. All right, so now we're selling. Shares, we're going to put position, right, because we're selling our whole position. Uh, symbol don't need, price. We're going to do the bid, right, because we're getting out of it. We're going to change this to minus. Now you can see, like if you see all these options, like look at everything that we can go through here. Um, there's a lot, like you can go off of last price. Like if you're in a stock with a big spread, you can hit up, you can have a button, which I'm, this is, I'm actually getting ready to make this button to uh, get, I'll show you in a sec. There's, I have an extra button right now for when I had lower equity in my account where I was loading one third of my uh, buying power, but I'm not doing that anymore. So I have room for one more button. I'm actually going to use it for last because a lot of these higher price stocks, you know, the spread tends to be pretty big, but sometimes if it's kind of sitting there, a lot of times it's not going to hit the ask. There's lots of orders going in between the bid and the ask. So if you can hit like you want to get in, uh, you can hit like sell on the, uh, sell on the last minus five. So that way you're not hitting the bid, but you're also getting a better price. I hope that makes sense. But, um, but anyways, as you can see, once, once you see what I'm doing with these, cause like this could be uh, bid plus 10. Um, if you're looking to get in on the bid with, a in a stock that has a spread of say like 20, 30 cents, but you want to get in on the bid as close to the bid as you can, but you want to get filled, uh, because sometimes if you just hit on the bid, uh, and the price is moving up, you might miss it by a cent because you hit the bid and then it starts moving up, blah, blah, blah. But if you hit bid plus 10, you're going to get filled up to 10 cents as it's going up. So you, you'll most likely get filled. But in this case, we're selling uh, bid minus 10. So if the price is going down, we don't want to hit bid with a limit order like we are. And because if you hit the limit order as it's coming down, you might get slippage. Uh, it might go right through you and the order when you hit it, say you hit it at 
say it's breaking eight dollars coming down and you hit it at eight dollars and it slipped right through and now it's down to 790 and your limit order is up at eight and it never got filled well that's that's a bummer where if you would have had bid minus 10 you probably would have got filled somewhere at like 96 97 98 even maybe 99 uh, but you didn't get filled because you didn't have this minus 10 in there so it's kind of a like a O S H I T moment you know where you're just like i want out it's kind of what this button's for uh so i always set this today because if you don't it'll go to day plus i think by default now um, and load and send or load, build the script, copy, paste, commit. Okay. Go back, edit, boom. All right. So now we have the bids at 362. So when we hit this button, it should say 352 right here. So boom. All right. So, and what it's going to do is it's going to take your position that you have and now keep in mind this, I have it set to load. I'm just testing it. So if you want it to be going through for real, you would change this to send or in, uh, when you're building the script, you would hit load and send, uh, when building the script. But as you can see, it would have worked and that's that. And for the charts, uh, if you want, all you got to do is boom, draw the anchor. So this anchor is how you link the charts together. So I'm going to, now that I've sh make sure I showed you everything, got the hot buttons, showed you how to get the montage out here, uh, showed you the different uh, templates. I believe that's everything that you would need to know with the montage. Um, I, you can right click, go to layout config. Uh, so you, the hot buttons might not be in there by default, not positive, but if they're not, that's this is where you would go. You just right click up in here, hit layout config. Uh, just hit hot button, move it over. Uh, if you don't use level two, you can easily just get rid of it. Um, the only reason I use it is because, you know, I'm, I'm paying for it. It's a little bit easier to use than just staring at level one. Um, and that's the other thing too, is you can move these around. Uh, so if you like the hot buttons on top, of your level two, if you like, uh, you're trading down below, like your buttons, like you can move it down. Um, you, there is all kind of different configurations. Like you can configure this any way that you want. Um, you can put the level one, uh, below it as well. So you can have your hot buttons up top and everything else down below. It's whatever floats your boat. Uh, it's very, I, I really like DOS. It's really good at, um, you know, getting everything in there. This is just how I feel comfortable with it at the moment. And here's that load one third buying power on the bid that I was talking about. So for our, uh, all these up here, uh, this is just the time, uh, the order screen, if I right click, uh, you can see that this one is, I thought they had the, the, um, let's see, it's not accounts, positions. Yep. Okay. So that one's my positions. So when I'm in a position, that's where that one comes up. Uh, orders. That's where if I place an, like a stop order or an order that I'm looking to get filled, uh, it would put it there. Uh, the time is the one next to that. And then the one after all the way at the end is trades. So the trades that I've made. So that's these three, um, obviously, I, and to get them with no borders, all you do is right click and there's a no title bar and that work that's for all of these. So I really recommend leaving the title bar as you're moving everything around. And then once you get everything placed the way that you want it, you can just go and click on each one of them and it makes it look a little bit better. So to give you guys the charts, um, it's kind of the same thing. You just go up to trade and I was wrong again, quotes chart and same thing. You're going to right click pop out. So now when we minimize this, we can do that. And then all you're going to do is just make it the size that you want, which we got to make this a little bit smaller before we do that. You know, put it exactly where you want it on. And I'm going to show you one little trick too, after this, you're going to go like that. And then all you're going to do is drag your anchor from your montage or over to your chart and you're good to go. Um, now, as far as all of your, uh, studies, um, that's just a right click on the chart study config. And that's totally up to you. This is a complete preference thing on, uh, how you want to set it up. Um, mine is just, you know, obviously the price, I believe 
I don't have anything. I just have the show trades and orders on in here. Um, view app is pretty standard. I think the only th I just made the uh, width a little bit. Uh, let me change the color so you can see it. Um, I have the dotted line one and then I made it white and I made the width three instead of one just so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and then this is what you're going to see in here. Let me just move it down a little bit. So the dotted green is the high of day. So as you can see in here, there's a bunch of options in here. So high is high of day. Uh, obviously made that just green and made it three as well. Uh, the dotted red is the low of day. And the solid red is yesterday's close. Um, just something that I have in here because I've seen it used as support uh, quite a few times on uh, the stocks that I trade. So uh, I, I'll look for that as a cover spot. Um, you know, that could be possibly being used as support. I used to have the previous high, but a lot of the stocks I trade don't really uh, use that too much. So I ended up getting rid of it. Like it's in here, but I just don't use it. Um, so the trick, uh, once you have everything set up the exact way you want it, so you don't have to do all of this three times, uh, if you're using three charts, like I am, all you do right click. And I believe it is, um, oh no. Okay. Yeah. So you right click the, where the title bar would be. There we go. And you hit save as default. So now if I were to open up a new chart, oops my scanners quotes chart what I would do is I just right click here load default and now as you'll see what are you doing it's not letting me move it there we go oh oh you know what you got to pop it out first my fault it will disappear don't don't go crazy just remember that you didn't pop it out so pop it out then load default and there we go so then if say you're doing a four screen or four chart setup, if I move this one back up a little bit, cause I'm OCD, there we go. And then say I could do no title bar. Um, let's say I need another montage quote or trade montage pop out. I believe I have the right one saved as default. Yep. Load default. Minimize, bring it on down, no title bar, boom, good to go. Now we got four charts and then you could do this on different monitors as well. So if you want to have four here, four on another monitor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope this explains everything that you guys were asking about as far as, you know, how I got my setup, uh, how to cover the, uh, hot buttons. I'm assuming that's what you guys are asking as far as getting the quick orders. Um, if you're talking about just putting in regular orders, uh, that's just quite normal. You know, if I'm putting in hundred shares and say, I'm looking for a short over 113, just roll up there. 113.05 hit short. It's that simple. Um, and then if I'm looking for a cover order, say I'm in at 113.05 and I'm looking for 160, boom, 112.60 and just hit buy and it'll just put it up there as a limit order. Um, and then if I'm looking for that range order that I've been using a lot lately and I seem to like it. Say I got 113.05, but high a day is at like 113.15 and she's coming down. Uh, and say I still want that 112.60, put that there, 113. Uh, we'll put 16. So if she goes over high a day, I stop out or she hits my profit target at 112.60. So I hopefully that answers all your questions. Like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Questions or comments down below. Sorry for the long video, but there's really no other way to do it. I could do a lot of cuts, but I feel like just kind of nailing everything all at once was the right thing to do. So I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.